In this video, guys, we're gonna ask the question, or answer the question, do day traders make more money than swing traders? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for tuning in. So, do day traders make more money than swing traders? This is a bit of a broad question. I get that, and you might have clicked it and gone, what is this? Let's have a look and see what this guy's gotta say. And let's be honest, okay? It's gonna depend actually on the person. We know that. So let's assume that we have that as a level playing field, and we say, right, there's people out there who are making significant amounts of money day trading. There's people out there losing significant amounts of money. Swing trading, same, same. So imagine if everything is equal, who is going to make the most, the more, or the most amount of money, or who's going to make more money? Well, the answer is going to be swing trading, guys. And I know a lot of you are like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm a day trader. Let me just put this in perspective. I love day trading too. That's really where my edge is. I extend my time frame out, but I use my day trading skills, my price action uh, kind of skill set to extend stuff out into swing trading. Very, very rarely will you find me holding trades under multiple months. Um, maybe have a few investments, which are different kind of things. But from a trading perspective, you know, I'm a day trader. So, you know, you can't say that I'm just being biased here, but bear with me on this, because if you think about this, right, day trading, there's multiple restrictions you've got. The biggest one, the biggest one, is the amount of size you can put to work. Now, I know you're gonna say, well, you know, you can trade the currency markets and trade whatever you want. Yes, you can, and the liquidity is not much of an issue, but the size and the time you've got, okay? And the movement, I'm just gonna put move here because I think it's gonna be almost off the screen, but you get the point. So the idea is, if you think about day trading, you know if you're a day trader of any skill level, you can't trade day trade a massive amount of markets. You can have a handful of positions. Some people are very good at having multiple positions. Some people prefer to have one or two, but you can't have a lot of positions. You have to be very focused and, and, and kind of really into the market that you're trading. So. The point comes is that you can only put so much size and capital to work because the move is going to be limited compared to a swing trader. Let's say over 10 days, it's gonna be a 10th. It's not quite, because you're not getting 10 times a move. You might get, it might be a fifth really, but you're getting a limited amount of moves. So the movement is obviously um, proportional to the amount of money you're making. So the size, you can't necessarily have as much size on because of the bigger margin requirements and for things like just be able to move the size. And I know that many of our, as traders, our edges are based on you know, very small edges based on a few ticks. So in reality, as we're trading something very, very thick, there's still a size implication there. If you're in crude oil, you want to try and lob out 100 contracts, then you can't really do it in an instant without moving the market on uh, crude oil, crude oil futures, CL futures. S&P 500 is a thicker one, it's the thickest one out there, but you know, th there's many others where you're going to impact the market with size. However, if you're a swing trader, you can bring up 100, 200, 400, 500 contract position and swing that kind of line without having to worry about the consequence on the market because your time frame is longer, so you can get into the trade longer, get out of the trade longer. So there's one thing to be said about that, that you, if you, it's, it's more, the, the cap if you like for an earnings level is perhaps here with day trading and then it's up here with swing if not even, even higher guys because there isn't a restraint on you. And also the time thing, you know, some, I know that there's a benefit to this in terms of the bell going and the psychological thing of, well, I'm day trading. And, and, and for most of us, right, we can still make decent money day trading, but the question was, who can make more money? So we're putting all things equal and saying, well, who's got the unlimited kind of profit potential? Yes, some day traders are making eight figures, you know, uh, one or two out there really kind of killing it, um, but, majority aren't making eight figures. Swing traders, however, because you've got more time, because there's a bigger move, because you can swing around more size, no pun intended, because you can move more size, it means that you have the opportunity to grow significantly. That's why, generally speaking, hedge funds aren't trading intraday. Yes, there are some out there that are kind of got algos that are scalping, that's one thing, but they know that there's a limit to that. They know that they, can't push that more and more and more. Swing traders, however, can manage billions or funds that manage significant billions. Yes, there's still a cap on it ultimately, but 
they have to find vehicles that can accommodate that kind of thing. But the point is that it allows them to make more money purely because they can put more capital to work. They've got more time for the trade to mature. They can come in and out slowly. They're not also, the other thing with day traders guys versus swing traders is that, you know, day traders you are exchanging your time for money you are sitting there and while you're trading you're making money while you're sleeping you're not however swing traders is a little bit of both you're being paid for a correct trading decision so regardless of whether you're at the screen or whether you're sleeping or whatever it may be if you're right you are being paid for it and there's always the adage of if you, unless you can make money while you're sleeping, you're never going to get to kind of significant. Well, I think it was Warren Buffett who said that. So the, the, the limit for swing trading is significantly higher than it is for day trading. However, let's just put this into perspective, guys. There's still a substantial chunk to be made for day trading. So don't suddenly stop day trading if it's your thing and think, oh, I can't make any more than I am. No, a substantial amount of money. But going back to the initial seed question, answering it honestly, do day traders make more money than swing traders? No, because ultimately swing trading is where you can move big sizes, where you can trade big lines, is where you can trade multiple big positions and get on the end of big significant moves. So what's the potential for day traders and swing traders, swing traders there? If we just go to the final question before we, before we kind of call it a day, do day traders generally make more money than swing trades? If we're looking on average, again, I'd say no. Sorry, day traders. Um, I'm a day trader myself, as I said, but I think day trading is far more, um, not only does it atta attract a lot more of the people who want quick wins, a lot more kind of gambling types, so you've got that who are bringing the average down, but it's far more pressure mentally. There's a time involved in it, there's a certain type of character that does day trading, and generally I think if you compare the swing traders to day traders, you'd probably find that swing traders were more profitable than day traders overall when you took an average, purely because of that, because of the challenging nature of it, because of the type of people that are involved in day trading compared to swing trading. So I guess the moral of the story is if if you're starting out trading, try to go into swing trading, try to develop a nice strategy for swing trading, use that as your vehicle rather than day trading. But if you must day trade and you've got that skill set, there's still plenty of money there as well. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.